Hi guys! My name's Abby and I'm here because I just finished Straighter Lines Anatomy and Physiology course for the lab and I learned a few things along the way that I want to share with you so that you can have um, an easier and less stressful journey than I did. So I just want to share with you in about five minutes some tips that will make your experience with straighter lines and anatomy and physiology a little bit easier. So first thing is decide why you want to take this course. For me, I'm pursuing an elementary education degree. This was a prerequisite that I needed. So I did not stress out so much about learning all the terms. There is a lot of vocabulary in this course. So I have decided that I wanted to um, get a basic knowledge of the human body, um, learn about some diseases, and um, that's why I was taking the course. So I didn't stress out about learning all these um, vocabulary. I did learn them, but not them all. Now, if you are pursuing nursing or something in the medical field, you're going to have a different goal than I am. So take that into account. Um, that being said, you're going to want to buy the textbook. I know Straighter Line offers a free online textbook, but for me it was so much better to have a hard copy. The main reason is because this course involves a lot of open book tests, and it's so much easier to flip through the book um, and see your highlights and notes when you take this test rather than trying to scroll through an online book. Um, I bought this for less than $20. It was, I can't remember, it was probably 12 or something like that. And I really like it because I also highlight and take notes in the book while I'm reading. I'm a very visual person, so that was a big, big plus for me. If that's not important to you, go ahead and just try the online version that they offer you for free. Um, you can try a few chapters, and if that works for you, that's fine. But this was a big benefit for me. All right, um, my next little tidbit is you don't have to stress about the final test. I was stressing for a while because I thought at the end I was going to need to review all 600 pages and try to cram lots of vocabulary memorization in to pass this final. I called Straighter Line and asked them what score I needed for the final in order to pass. And they said that because I had such a high score in all my other tests, um, the end, the unit tests, there's 18 of them, I believe. I had already passed the course and it didn't matter what score I got in my final. So, if you study hard and pass the open book tests, you don't have to stress about the closed book final. This is really nice. Um, so, at the end of each unit, going to take an open book test. They give you 40 minutes and there's 20 multiple choice questions. Some are easy, some you're going to have to um, double check in the book. So what I did was I read each chapter, I highlighted and sometimes I made vocabulary flashcards, although I stopped that because it's not really necessary. Um, and then I took the test when the knowledge was still fresh in my head. So that's really nice. You don't have to stress about the final if you have a high enough score from the open book test. My score was a 9 to 5 by the time I got to the final. And I had already passed the course. So I think if you probably have anywhere between a 90 and a 95, by the time you get to the final, you don't have to worry so much. Probably in the 80s, too. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. The third tidbit I have is 
If you are a visual learner, go to YouTube and watch crash course videos on anatomy and physiology before reading the chapter. This, they're about 10 minutes. They're very entertaining. They have cool pictures and it's a pretty funny guy describing the terms and um, it really helped me understand the concepts. I only discovered it um, near the end of the course. I wish I had discovered it earlier because it really, having watched that before reading the chapter, when I read the chapter, a lot of the information stuck better and clicked. So, Crash Course Anatomy and Physiology on YouTube is great. The videos are only 10 minutes and um, they're very memorable. Okay, my final piece of information, piece of advice, is about the labs. Um, you may or may not be taking the lab. If you are, you'll have bought a big lab kit that comes with a beetle pig and a sheep brain and cow eye and lots of little stuff. Um, first of all, unpack the box, open up all the little boxes inside because they tuck things in all these little corners and crevices. And I didn't find all the tools until the end of the course when it was too late. So unpack the box first and look at all your stuff before you get started. This will help. And secondly, give yourself more time than they estimate to finish these labs. They estimate between an hour and two hours for the labs. Some of them you can get done in this time, but most of them took me more time because there is lots of little things to do, lots of things to write. I would a lot at least two hours, sometimes three, sometimes even four for the labs. The good news is there are only nine labs as opposed to 18 units, so that gives you more time. So this is a very doable course, and I appreciated taking it. I learned a lot of stuff, and I didn't stress out too much. So I hope you do well. If you have any questions, you can comment down here and I'll try to answer them and I wish you the best in your studies. Bye.